Hello, on this video, I'm going to show how to delete a database record. Currently, I have something like this in my project. And now I want to create a delete person view and a link to that view. And once it passes through the home controller, I want to delete that record from the database. So this is the project that I have from the previous video. So on the home controller, I want to create a action. And here, I first want to get the UID from the session. So I'm just going to copy and paste this line from the previous method. And now I want to create a person object and I want to read that information from the database so I can display on a page before I delete the record. So I'm going to create a doll object. And now I want to create a person object and get the data. And I want to pass this object to the view. So I'm going to pass to the view. And now, right here, since I already have the person, I'm going to delete it from the database. So on the doll person class, I'm going to call a method that does not exist again. And I'm going to call it delete person. And I'm going to pass the UID. Notice that this method does not exist. Hence, it's giving me an error. So I'm going to hover over and show potential fix. And I'm going to generate the method. Now right click, go to implementation. And here is the method that Visual Studio created for me. Delete the throw exception. And now I'm going to copy the steps one, two, three, four from the previous method. And I'm going to paste right here. Step number one is connect. Step number two is create a command. But my command is not update. My command is delete. And I still want to keep the where clause. So it's a very simple command. And all I need now is to set the ID. And the ID is what I'm passing by parameter. So paste it here. And everything else is the same. Now, one thing that it's worth noticing here is that the step one is the same all the time, no matter what. So we already coded this thing multiple times. And there is a better way to do that. You can create a method here inside this class and move this code there. And then every time you need it, you just call the code. Or you can also put in the constructor of this class. Both ways we work just fine. I would choose the constructor. Anyway, so back to the method. This now is done. So let's go to the home controller. And now I want to generate the delete person view. So I'm going to right click here and add view. Click on add. And right here on this view, I just want to display the data that comes in the person model. But I only did that in the past on page two. So I'm just going to copy this from page two. And I'm going to paste it right here in the body. And now I need to put the model right here. Model with lower M. And now I am ready to run this program. And now all we're missing is a link from the page two to the delete person view. So I'm going to copy this. I'm going to paste it right here. And instead of edit person, I'm going to put delete person and delete my info. So now let's run this program. And now I have Jane. Jane lives in Tokyo. Click on submit. Goes to the second page. 
and now I have a link here that deletes my info and the person is gone and just to validate I'm going to query the database and Jane with record 50 is gone so that's all for this video thanks for watching this is easy and you can do it